ever Stefanik unloaded his car, you knew that you were going to have to race him. It was always Mike Stefanik, Mike Stefanik, Mike Stefanik, winning the pole, winning the race. Michael Stefanik, better known to race fans as Mike, would set the bar for future drivers. But he first looked up to older brother Bob, a track champion at Massachusetts Riverside Park. Bob always told everybody, including his little brother, anybody can win races. What people remember are championships. And that resonated with Mike, obviously. Entering 1997, Mike was already a two-time modified champion when he seemingly did the impossible. Winning titles in both modifieds and what was then called the Bush North Series in back-to-back -back years. Wow, how'd he do that? Just to be able to schedule that is, is enough. The logistics of trying to run two different series that often ran at different tracks on the same weekend. So the travel back and forth, the private planes, the rush drives from one place to the other. A lot of places he would show up where someone else had to practice his car. He didn't even get into the car until maybe race time or qualifying time. The travel and sacrifices paid off as Mike landed a truck series seat for the following season. In Mike's only full-time season down south, the New Englander was named the 1999 Truck Series Rookie of the Year. Despite proving himself, opportunities dried up, so Mike returned north and cemented his legendary status in his own style. He was an unusual driver because he was courteous and he was fast. So the people he raced against, even though he beat them, they liked him. By the time he retired at the end of 2014, Mike Stefanik earned seven NASCAR Modified Championships and held the Career Series records for wins and poles. Sadly, Michael lost his life in an aviation accident in 2019. But the numerous accomplishments and his racing legacy will continue to live on. Mike Stefanik belonged in the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and he's now getting that opportunity. That's a big deal.